Well, hello, Sensi people, and welcome back to the It Makes Great Sense channel here on YouTube and on Facebook. Now, my name is Mark, and I am a star consultant with Sensi. And today's video is a very important video. And whether you're a new consultant or whether you're thinking about joining Sensi, it's a video that I really think is important for you to watch. Today, we're going to be talking about compliance. Now, compliance is Sensi standards, rules, and regulations that all Sensi consultants must adhere to and follow if you're going to be a Sensi consultant. And what it does, it really makes the playing field even for everyone. And that's really important, and that's what I love about being a Sensi consultant, is because my advantages as a new consultant is the same advantages as somebody that's been in Sensi for seven or eight years. So whether you are a new consultant or whether you're looking to join a team and become a sense consultant please watch this video now we're going to be going through the consultant guide on pages 21 and 22 and if you're already a consultant you've got that guide but if you're not a consultant if you join my team when you join my team you're going to get that guide in your kit so let's talk about some sensi standards and sensi compliance I'm just going to read some stuff. Since he has established a standard of expectations and performance found in the independent consultant agreement that will help you achieve constant and lasting success. Um, key examples. Claims. This is more along the lines of the essential oils that since he has. Now, y'all, since his essential oils are right up there, they're the best oils on the market. Um, but we as Sensi Consultants and Sensi cannot make any medical claims or curing properties of Sensi oils. Sensi is in the business of fragrance, not medicine. So you cannot make any claims like doTERRA oils. They make medicinal claims. Young Living make medicinal claims for their oils. We cannot make any medicinal claims for our essential oils line. Even though they are probably above the quality and standards of these other two leading companies, we can only make fragrance claims. So that's what we can do. So under product claims, you may not make any claims regarding the therapeutic curative properties of any Scentsy products other than those contained in the current official Scentsy literature. So please, please, please do not make any claims on the oils that they have curing properties. So that's very important. The Scentsy opportunity. All of y'all join Scentsy for your own specific reasons. I joined for my own specific reasons. I joined so that I could make a little bit of extra money, but I also joined the company because I love Scentsy. I love Scentsy products. I love to use them. I love to smell them. I love to buy them. I love Scentsy. That's the reason I joined. So I could not go to any of you and you cannot go to anyone else and say, hey, listen, you know, you can say, do you want to make a little bit of extra money to help pay a bill or something like that? But you cannot claim to tell these people exactly how much money they could make. Like, you cannot go to somebody and say, hey, I made $750 last month from Scentsy. That's you. You're rocking your business. You're working it out. You earned that $750. But you cannot tell somebody that that's what you made because that could be a false claim if they don't work their business. You know, they could get their kit, put it in a closet, not do anything with it, and come back to you in a month and say, well, you told me I was gonna make $700. If they work their business, they can. But if you don't work your business, you won't. So that's claims. You can not tell anybody how much money that you make each month from Sensi because somebody else may not make that kind of money. Somebody may make more, but they may not make that kind of money, so claims. Endorsements. You cannot get Brad Pitt to endorse your Scentsy team or your, your Scentsy journey. Um, you can't get Angelina Jolie to say, hey, I want you to buy your Scentsy from so-and-so because she's great and she has better Scentsy products than anybody else. So endorsements, we cannot take any endorsements either. Moving on. All right, corporate pricing versus personal specials. This is a big one, a big one in compliance. 
We cannot advertise in any public space any personal specials. This is what keeps all consultants on a level playing field. So some consultants that have been in the business for years, they may be able to give every person that orders, let's say they ordered the Scentsy system, they may give them an extra bar of wax. That is a personal special. That is not a special offered by Scentsy. Okay, so if you've been in the company for a long time and you've got a lot of stock, you may be able to afford to do that. But to keep it level for brand new consultants that can't afford to do that, since he's put that rule in place. So you can't say if you buy a six pack of wax for $25, I'm going to give you a seventh bar of wax for free. You can't do that. What you can do, because since he has the um, buy five bars, get one free. So that's a six Scentsy bar set for $25. You can advertise that because it's advertised by Scentsy. Anything that Scentsy advertises as a, as a special, like any combining saves and things like that, you can advertise those on your website and on your Facebook page, Twitter, Instagram, things like that all day long because Scentsy, that's a Scentsy promotion. Now, if you want to do something special, if you want to do like say an incentive special for your customers, you can put on your Facebook, Hey y'all, I've got a special going on for the next two weeks or a month or whatever you want to do. Contact me for details. And they can contact you one-on-one -on -one by phone, text message, or Facebook Messenger, or how they want to contact you one-on-one. -on -one. You can't send that out. You can't send these specials out as a group, like to a group. Like, let's say you've got a group on your Facebook called Sensi Customers. And that's just for your Sensi customers, and they're in that group. Even in that group, which is a private group, you still cannot place personal specials. All you can say is contact me for my personal specials. So do y'all understand all of that? It's very important. eBay and retail locations. Okay, huge, huge. It's out there, and Sensi's cracking down on it, and I don't want any of our team to get in trouble. So. You may not sell any Scentsy products on eBay, Amazon, Craigslist, uh, Facebook yard sale pages and stuff like that, buy, sell, and trade pages on Facebook. You cannot sell any inventory on any of those platforms, okay? Now, you can advertise on Facebook. Let's say that you want to advertise the new warmer in the Harvest Collection, which is Maple Leaf. You can put on your Facebook page a picture of the Maple Leaf warmer and say, y'all isn't this cute? Uh, or if you love this, message me, let me know. You can do it, stuff like that, but you cannot lead people to believe that you have stock on hand, okay? Because that's gonna be like a retail location. So you cannot put it out there to make people believe that you have Scentsy stock on hand. All of your Scentsy orders have to go through your PWS, your personal workstation. Every order has to do that. Now, let's say that you have maple leaf at your house, or you have like the warmer of the month at your house. You can put a picture of that on Facebook and say, if you like this, message me, that's fine. But you cannot lead people to believe that you have that on hand specifically to sell. Does that make sense? If not, call me. I'll talk you through it. Inventory loading. That comes up with the same thing. Uh, right here. Since the opportunity lets you be successful without having to carry the potential risk and burden of inventory. 70% of your total monthly PRV must be sold to customers outside your household. So you cannot go on and buy loads and loads of, of stock to keep on hand at your house to sell like at garage sales and things like that. That goes back to retail locations. Also, you must sell 150 points in PRV in a consecutive three month period. So let's say January, February, and March. Let's say that you don't sell anything in January, okay? You're good. You don't sell anything in February you're good. March comes along, you've got to sell 150 points in PRV to remain active with the company. Okay. 
So, and y'all selling 150 points in PRV each month is simple. You do one party, you're gonna get that, okay? So work your business, you'll have no problem with not being active each month. So that is some Scentsy standards. And I hope that this video has helped all in any way. If you have any question whatsoever about any compliance issue, please, please, please call your sponsor or call me. My number is out there for everybody. It's 865-456-8988. I would whole lot rather you call me and ask me and, and let me approve that for you before you go ahead and do something that you don't know is against Sensi's standards and compliance issues. So just give us a call. That's why we here, folks. We're here so you don't get in trouble and we're here to help you make the most money that you possibly can and have happy customers. So that is that. And also one other huge thing, use of the word Sensi. We cannot use the word Sensi without having independent consultant beside it. Example, let's say you want to make a Facebook business page. You cannot say like Sensi with Diane or Diane's Sensi. That would make people believe that you are Sensi and you're not. You're an independent sensory consultant, okay? So you can use, let's say you're gonna make a post and you wanna say, okay, let's say Scentsy comes out with a sense a scent of the month. You can put on your Facebook page, hey y'all, this is Scentsy's new scent of the month. You can use it like that, but you cannot use it in a title of a web page, anything to where people would think that you are Sensi. Does that make sense? So instead of saying Sensi with Diane, you could go, you could go Diane has great sense or sense with Diane, but you can't use the word Sensi because Sensi is registered trademark. Does that make sense? So you can promote your Sensi business and post like saying since he's got some great new things coming out next month, message me for details. Perfect. You can do that. But just don't name and don't print off cards saying Scentsy by Mark, Scentsy by Tim, Scentsy by Diane. You can't do any of that. So if you've got any questions on that, give me a call. Y'all, I hope this video helped you so much. And I just want to make this, and I'm posting this strictly to the It Makes Great Sense team page. And I hope y'all find it interesting and helpful. And let me know in the comments that you watch this video because I need you to watch this video. Anyway, I will talk to y'all later. I love all y'all. Love all y'all. Talk to you later. Bye.